Don't label people and don't discount what someone's saying. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All channel names are pinned at to the top of the comment section below, all five channels. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you a little story. Many, many, many years ago, I knew a woman. And one day, she had started complaining about some physical ailments. And so, eventually, she went to the doctors, and then one doctor after the other, and they couldn't figure it out. But she kept on going to the doctors, and she told her friends what was going on. And the doctors would say, oh, no, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. And just ignore it. But she said, no, there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. So they labeled her a hypochondriac. Basically, you know, it wasn't outspoken, but the impression that she said she got was that they just, every time she went in, they sort of rolled their, their eyes like, oh, she's here again with another complaint. And they basically labeled her a hypochondriac. So when she went back and told all of her friends, they basically, behind her back, started whispering, oh, she's a hypochondriac. Not maybe all of her friends, but many of her friends did. Oh, she's a hypochondriac. Here she goes again, making up, you know, ailments or whatever. Well, you probably know how the story ends. Um, she was right, and everyone else was wrong that had said that, she was a hypochondriac because she ended up having a real, um, a real diagnosis. And a few months later, she passed. And I, you know, people immediately labeled her because maybe her symptoms didn't add up together. Maybe there were a whole bunch of different symptoms that just didn't look right. And so, or maybe they couldn't figure it out. And so they just said, oh, okay, well, she's a hypochondriac. You know, she's always complaining. But in her situation, people labeled her, and she was telling the truth. Now, granted, sometimes people do make up stories. Sometimes people lie. Sometimes people fabricate. Um, sometimes people think things are going on when they're not. I got that. I got that. And that's a reality, too. So we always have to consider that as well. Not everything everyone says is accurate or true or the way it really is. And yet, in her situation, people were very quick to label her rather than look a little bit closer. Now, maybe some people could be a hypochondriac, and that's true. And yet, I believe that it's important first before, you know, attaching a label to a situation that we understand it fully and make sure that what we're looking at is really, truly what we're looking at. And so the people that labeled her had made a terrible mistake. And so I believe in not labeling people. Labels are for cans, not for people. Yes, sometimes we have to have labels to understand a profession or what someone does or a skill, you know, like doctor, nurse, plumber, electrician, things like that. But that also narrows a person in. So we, don't, we want to use those labels very selectively because people are more than a label, okay? And so I do listen to people. I don't always believe everything someone says or I don't necessarily look at it as being necessarily accurate. But I do listen and I do consider what they had to say as possibly being having validity as she had done. But nobody would listen. From my house to yours, may Heavenly Father bless you, and I hope to talk to you soon again, and I do hope you like, share, subscribe. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.